Hi everybody, it's Tina with TSR Creations. So today I am going to do a little something different. I'm going to do a resin video and I'm going to be doing um, resin art on this. Um, I think this is 18 by 18 or 16 inch. I think it's 18 by 18 inch wooden tray that I got off of Amazon. It has little handles here. Um, it's a white wood tray. Um, these are all the products that you will need for this project. Um, these are the mica powders and these are the colors that I'll be using. It's going, I want to make it like a sunsetty, beachy feel to it. Um, I actually might, I think I'm going to add a yellow in here too. I, did, I forgot to grab that, but um, it's kind of like a sunset ocean scene. I am using um, stone comb countertop resin today. Um, so, because I figure if this is a tray and somebody wants to use it for hot things, I'd rather have the countertop resin on it. Um, so I have all my, all my, um, materials here. I do have my respirator. You should, whenever working with resin, wear your respirator. Um, I will use it on and off because obviously you can't hear me through it. So. Um, when I'm not, um, when you're not listening to me, when I, when I speed it up, I will wear it. All right. So always protect your, wear your gloves. Um, I did mix up my resin. I made a little extra. So I have, I have about 10 ounces here and I have four ounces here. So I do have probably a little bit over resin, but I'd rather have a little bit more than not enough. Um, I am going to cover the entire surface of the tray. All right, so I'm going to um, I'll get started here quickly. I will show you how to mix up a couple of the colors and um, then I'll mix the rest off camera and come back and start. All right, be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so just to go through real quickly the products I'm using, I'm using these Unicorn Art um, mica powders. I have four different ones of those. I have a, um, and everything will be listed down below. Um, this is, what the color is this? Hmm. Where's the name of the color? Hold on. Sorry. This is magical mica. You know, violets are blue. Enchanted orchid. Um, this is like a crystal crushed crystal. Um, so it gives a little sparkle. And this is rose gold. And then I have Arteza, a few different colors there. I don't know if I'm gonna be using every one of these, but these are the Arteza mica powders. They come in a 60 pack. These are awesome. They can also be used for cold pressed soap, which I make, so that's great. Um, so I have um, turquoise. I'm going to use a little yellow gold, and that'll be in my yellows. Um, I do have another primal pigments. And this is a gold mica. Um, I'll probably mix the two of those. I have some my yellows. Um, this is a pretty, what does it say? Frosty sage green. Oh, it's green. Okay, I might not use that one. Maybe, I'll mix them. And uh, lemongrass green, which I thought these were, looked more yellow to me, but I'll see what I have in here. And then I have my little bit of orange. Um, and this is royal orange and this is tangerine orange and I might mix in just a touch of this strawberry color to them because I I'm gonna kind of go and see what colors I um, want to use I also have a um, this is from island micas and more.com and she has a YouTube channel um, she does mostly resin um, art and she you can buy her mica powders and this is called mermaid kisses and this is a um, uh, oh gosh, what are they called? Uh, color shift, not a color shift, the chameleon color. Gosh. And then I have this periwinkle, just a light blue, and that's from Primal Pigments, and another um, Maui mica powder from Primal Pigments. And for my white, I will use Casting Craft and um, a little alcohol ink in that. And I'll probably put a little of the crushed mica in that one because it's it's like white. 
All right, so I'm just going to show you real quick how I mix up one of my colors. So take my little cups and give this, make sure you stir your resin according to the directions on your bottle, depending on what kind of resin you're using. Okay, and I stirred this up pretty well. Okay, well, like wipe your stick when you're stirring. Make sure you get it all incorporated. A lot of bubbles in here right now. But once it sits and I uh, and it warms up a little bit, I'll pop the bubbles. My art room is a little chilly today. I don't know why. I think I have my air conditioning was too high last night. All right, so I'm gonna put some in here. I'm gonna do two colors for you, and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Um, okay. So I put in in my cups, and let's do the orange because these would be the ones that I'm going to mix the most. And I'll just take my stick, put that in there, and let's mix this so I can see. And rule of thumb, and not really with Micah's, Micah's pretty much um, almost the exception, but if you're using like acrylic paints or any kind of like um, dye or um, color pigment in your resin, you want to do about 10% of color to resin. Um, with micas you can get away with a little bit more so i'm going I, this is too bright so i'm going to tone it down with this strawberry let's see what happens i want it i'm kind of want to oop, i want to go for like a sunset kind of look that's pretty yet just a touch of that one so that's a pretty color that's nice all right so that's one put these away so I don't spill them do a yellow and the yellow is going to be like a yellow gold so it's this is this is green but let me see hold on a second let me see that's pure gold there's so many colors in this what is that light gold do they not have yellow that's odd all right i'm just going to go with this and see what happens it's too green i won't use it and this one was the frosty sage green it said I know it looks yellowy to me but and I want to darken that up a little bit and I'll use the other one it's pretty and let's put a little gold in it. So that kind of turned completely gold. That's all right. That's good. All right. Um, those two colors all right so I'll do one more for you all right, my other cup and we'll do this um, oh, this purple is so pretty so I want the sky to be like pink and purple this is one of my absolute favorite violets are blue I love these micas are from the unicorn art they're awesome so I'm actually oh I didn't put my resin in but that's okay you can do that too and that actually this way is better because then when you mix it um, all the powder doesn't fly up in the air. So I'm just going to put the rest of this cup in here. I might add a little bit more because I want a lot of the purple. And I have a big thing made up. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, and this, this color is just gorgeous. And it's like almost like a color shift color. Look at that. So pretty. I used this one in one of my other videos for the tail of the dragon, I think. If you saw that video, I'll link it. Another resin video that I've done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up the rest of my colors and I will be back to start the project. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and I decided to, um, I have all my colors lined up here. I'm going to start with the sky, go into the sunset, go into the uh, colors of the sunset, then to the beach. Um, I decided to add another little darker blue. Like a, this is Anthraquion, this is acrylic paint. Just add it to the resin and I just added a touch of this turquoise mica. All right, so I only have a little bit left on my clear. I probably should have kept more clear. If I have to make more up, I'll have to make more up. Um, but I'm just gonna pour this down and spread it around. just to help things move. Okay. That side. All right. I'm going to heat this up. Gosh. Pop the air bubbles. I really wish I had more clear, but I guess I could mix them up real quick. I did um, wipe my tray down with um, isopropyl alcohol and wiped it clear, clean. I'm um, just gonna move, you know what, I want it to go this way. Look at that, I was gonna do it wrong. Let me just move this around a little bit. I'm gonna use my hand. to get it on the sides just uh, of your tray. So I'm just spreading this out. I really could have used a little bit more, but that's okay. I have plenty of resin here for this, color-wise. Okay, I'm gonna just take this glove off. And put another glow on. And I see there's something in there. Not sure what the heck that is. But it's okay. Take a stick. Get out whatever that is. I think it's just there. And I'm gonna heat this up. It's just on the tray. You're not going to see it with all the color. Alright, so what do you think? Should I do it this way? Yeah, like a horizon scene. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I'm going to start by putting down um, some of the dark. Because this is the dark sky. All right, I'm gonna put a little, just a touch over here because this is gonna be my horizon. Okay. Okay, I'm 
I save a little bit in my cup for any touch-ups. I'm going to do the lighter blue. sun's setting it's going to go to a little orange and to uh, oh wait is this the beach yeah this is the rose gold these two to blend together. Alright, I'm just going to take the rest of this blue and put it up in the corner. Heat this up a little bit first before I put that one down. Hold on, put some more pink in here. I got a little on my tray. Just wipe it off. I have these um, alcohol wipes that I just got at CVS. They're always good for this project. Just in case you get any on your tray. It takes it right off. So I'm going to heat this up for a second, and then I'm going to get my heat gun and move it around. Okay, so it just has a uh, heat gun, Wagner. heating it up, get the colors to move, and I should be wearing my respirator, you know what, I'm going to put it on, so you might not hear me talk for a little bit, alright, it's probably a good idea.
thing is so uncomfortable, it's not even funny. Okay. I'm going to put some of this down here. I just got it on the side. Nice. I'm just gonna put a little bit more color down here. I have it. I want them to mix in a little bit more. Okay, let's heat this up one more time. And I didn't do the white yet, so. Oh, I gotta make sure I get this.
Okay. I'm just worried about this later, but it's bothering me. pretty all up in here it's, this is actually really pretty but now I gotta put the white in and the white again is the casting craft these make nice cells and a few drops of white alcohol ink all right so I'll just take this out for a minute so I want the to be crusting like up on the beach here one at a time. Alright. What am I attached to? just to break up like that real quick. Really pretty. Okay. And now I want to put some more. Let's do it right here. Where it settles. All right. I wish I hadn't put the blue right there, but I did, and 
really nothing I can do about it. Well, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but... Looks really good. drop it back in. I'm going to make us up a little bit more resin. We'll be right back. All right, I'm back. It's the next day. I messed this up totally. I heated this area up way too much and it got all like stringy. So it's the next day. I added my, my clear down and I'm going to add more color to fix it. Not a problem. You can always fix resin. Just let it cure and re-pour. So, I mean, I like some aspects of this, but I this needed to be fixed. So I will be right back. I'm gonna add my blue, pink, purple, and probably white, and that's it. I'm not gonna really touch this area because I did like the way this area came out, except for the clear. All right, hold on one second. All right, so I have my colors mixed up, and clear is down, popped my air bubbles, and I'm gonna just start adding the more color, okay? So I'm gonna put down the blue, Here's the next lighter blue. And the periwinkle blue. Purple. 
and I'm okay with some of this showing through. Gonna heat this up. this little air blower this one actually um, doesn't blow that hot and I'll blow it around some more white down. And just a little clear to help it move. I'm going to heat it up. 